Today I'm going to show you how to make a virtual help desk with Flipgrid. So this is what the virtual help desk looks like in a student's point of view. They can go here. Hi, I'm Mrs. Housewife. You can click the video and then they can record their response right here. After they've re recorded their response and submitted it, they'll receive this notification. This is a moderated Flipgrid because we are keeping the videos private. So the student will have this image come up saying that the video will be hidden until approved by, my, by the educator. So let's see what the virtual help desk looks like on the teacher's end. So this is my educator dashboard and I'm going to go into the virtual help desk so I can show you the components. First, write a title, then a prompt. You could also put a link or in your email address. I find that the recording time of three minutes is the best because it is just enough to have uh, students explain their issue but not to ramble on and on. So three minutes I find is a sweet spot. This is very important. You need to put the topic moderation on. You would like to keep these videos private. So please put the topic moderation on. Then you can record a prompt or put a, a, a video or a picture, whatever you like here. I've chosen to make a public topic because I'd like be, students to be able to use their school email or their personal email or their phones, whatever they like to use. So I use a public. If you'd like to keep it in your school domain, just click private and put the school extension for the emails there. You can also put topic attachments. You could add document links. You could add a link to your uh, classroom or library. Make sure your topic status is active and very important, the topic features, very important to make sure that you get notifications for every new video and comment. This way you don't have to check it periodically. You can receive daily notifications, weekly, every new video and comment, and never. I choose every new video and comment. And then the other options are whether you want them to use the video editing tools, the view count, these things are all okay the way they are. And now I will update my topic. So if I had people ask me how to record my video through Flipgrid, so here are the options that I use. I like using the effects. So I like using the board and then I can use whatever color I like. And now you can see I could split the screen. I can cover my entire face with the board and just put images or I can use just myself, or I can use a balance of the two. Now I'm going to add some text. I'm going to type in virtual help desk, and then I click out and I can move it over. I could also make it smaller or bigger. So I'll go like this, and then I'll go here, and I will go to the board, and I will move myself over. So I'm going to decorate it a bit with emojis and some text, my email address. And if you'd like to upload your Bitmoji at this time, you would go to effects and photo. So I'm going to decorate my Flipgrid topic. So as you can see, I added some more text. I added a click here button. I've uploaded my Bitmoji and now I can record my video so my kids can see my face or if I choose not to, I could cover this up with again with the board and they'll have uh, something to respond to for their Flipgrid. Now to share the uh, virtual help desk, all you have to do is give them the link or the code they can use on their tablet or our phone or even the QR code. Now what I've done is I've downloaded my image and I've used that in my email signature. So as you see here, when you go back to your topic, you can download the video so you can share it. And you can also download the selfie so you can use it as your email signature. So how do you respond to a student? Well, you go through your topics and click the topic that you want, which this one is the virtual help desk. And I click it. And then when I scroll down, I could see I have responses. They are hidden because my topic is moderated. When I click the response, Hi, can you tell me how to use Flipgrid? 
Of course I can teach you how to use Flipgrid. Let me send you a link or we can make an appointment and we could talk about it. So now you see the student response to my virtual help desk and you see that I've put my feedback in here. So now I could also write private comments. So if I want to send a link to the student for other information, and then I could press email feedback and it will send the feedback to the student. It'll send the link to my video and the private comments. So if your students have Google accounts, but they don't have email access, they can still look at their feedback. Tell them in the directions to go to my.flipgrid.com and log in to watch their feedback. When they log in with, the, with their Google account, it will show them all the groups that they have posted videos to, as well as their videos, and then they could even look at their feedback.